fragrance love is today. As you read in the title, you like your fragrances sexy, stick around. The buck stops here. You smell these fragrances, you're gonna be thinking about sexy thoughts. Top 40. World sexiest fragrances right now. Let's go. to my channel here we go again right another top 40 whatever you're gonna be hard pressed to find any fragrances that are sexier than the ones that are in this list now to be honest with you is i could have done a top 100 because there were that many fragrances in my collection that are wicked wicked sexy however it took me a long time to get this list down because there are that many um, and i didn't want the video to be stupid long so if you like your fragrances sexy, stick around. You right. 40. Delina Exclusive. Don't let its 40th position fool you. This is a very, very sexy fragrance. Guys, I already know what you're thinking. It's pink. And to that, I say, so the fuck what? Who cares? You already know how I feel about colors, bottle design, notes marketing where gender is concerned so save your keystrokes this stuff smells friggin amazing and that's all that matters if you're worried about you know the design of the bottle the color whatever extract the contents put it into a phallic looking bottle and all that bullshit feminine talk goes right down the hopper <laughs> Exclusive, a sexy beast of a fragrance. 39. You right. Ambrosia. If you like it sweet with lots of fruit and spices, get it. You will not be sorry. Sexy gourmand right here. 38. You right. Blossom Love. What can I say about this sexy monstrosity that hasn't already been said a thousand times over? Reviewed it, check it out. Sweet, syrupy cherries, covered in vanilla rice cream, and amaretto. Freaking incredible. You right. 37. Hasaba. You all know what it is, but most don't know what it isn't. And that's the incessantly talked about Aventus. Nope. I have a newsflash for you people. Contrary to popular belief, every fragrance that rocks a pineapple accord is not trying to be a Ventus. Nope. Stop it. Get some help. This is its own man. It goes its own direction. Believe me. And it is an absolute freaking monster. Unlike a Ventus. You right. Passe soir. Sweet mother of God, this is sexy. If you check out the notes, you will see that there is quince fruit in here. I have no idea what it tastes like, nor what it smells like. What I've read is that it literally is a cross between an apple and citrus. All I know is it's really, really good. And yeah, sexy as hell. Dirty five. You right. Chypre Palatin. This is a very resinous citrus floral with sexy animalic undertones. One of the best from this house. Easily top two. 34. You right. Chocolate makes me happy. Most complimented fragrance in the first quarter of 2021. This is the very definition of sexual chocolate. Don't be ashamed to call his name. Sexy chocolate. 33. You right. Ambra Aurea. You all know what it is. Second best amber fragrance in history. And by far the most powerful. Yeah, sexy and loud. Smells so freaking good it'll blow the socks off your feet. 
You right. Dirty two. Nightingale. Sexy floral bomb right here. A tad bit fruity, then skanked out to hell with animalic bombastic flavor. Throwing some patchouli and oud. Done. She's pretty, she's sexy, but she'll punch your lights out just like this. I <laughs> One, Rose Omiyad. This should have been named Rose Oh My God. Rose petals slathered in raspberry preserves, then sifted with brown sugar. This is so jammy and sweet. If a sugar glider is near you when you're wearing this, it's a wrap. He's gonna be all over you. Also, very powerful and yeah, sexy. They all are dirty. <laughs> Layla, spicy, sweet, hella sexy, lasting power, off the scale, don't even try it. You right. 29, ultimate seduction, well, what's in a name people, I think the name says it all, this is why it's sexy, I pro it was probably deliberate, kind of reminds me of a drier, less sweet version of Coco Mademoiselle, so if you like that, was a little bit better quality, jump on it. You right. 28, Tolu. I've said this before, people throw shade on this house because most of the fragrances from it share the same scent DNA. This is true for the most part, okay? Although they're very distinguishable, I own 13 bottles from this house. And this one is by far the sexiest and the most powerful. <laughs> You right. 27. Tonka Imperial. If I have to say anything about this, then you just don't know it. Suffice it to say, this is one sweet, sexy, mm, I can't swear. Easily top three from this house. You right. 26. Imitation. What you have here, incense, aldehydes, and sweet florals, yup, combined makes this very sexy 25 you right Rodano Nero incredible scent and packed with more notes than the Boston Pops smoky boozy and skanky this screams sex people easy on the trigger though with this monstrosity or people die. You right. 24. Nepal Oud. Another powerful, sexy creature. The sexiness this exudes has to be seen to believe or sniffed. A spicy, sexy lover that is all skinked out. God, this is so hot. So freaking good. 23. You right. Opus 6. In my opinion, this is Amawaj's sexiest fragrance. All right. I reviewed it years ago. Go check it out. Nothing's changed. Still a monster. Still gorgeous. Still powerful. And yeah, again, sexy as all get out. <laughs> You right. 22. More than words. This is Zerjoff's sexiest offering. Again, in my opinion, most people watching this know what this is. Uniquely sexy and yup, again, all powerful. In fact, looking at these bottles, yeah, literally every fragrance on this list is not only sexy, but powerful. So be careful on the trigger. Incredible, this scent right here. <laughs> You right. 21. White Oud. One of the most slept on Ouds from Montau. Full stop. You rarely hear this one being talked about. I love it. This one is extremely sexy. You right. 20. Rahaba. 
I'm going to save what I think about this in terms of its ranking where pineapple fragrances are concerned. And I'll be saving that for a future video. Suffice it to say, this is one hell of a pineapple scent. In the 20th, all around sexiest in my entire collection. But wait, it's got a pineapple note. So it must be trying to copy Aventus. Oh yeah? That's what you think! I think there's one review on Fragrantica about this. And it's not good. All right? they, think it's they think it's a synthetic mess. I say it's incredible and sexy. Alpha Fox chart. You'll be hearing way more from this house, at least on this channel. Guaranteed. You're right. 19. Al Cat Skankfest 2021. Holy mother of God, this is sexy. So potent, too. All right. Thick with oud. So easy on the trigger, or else. <laughs> Eighteen Tabit, sexy florals, fruity, just a wee bit animalic and tot. Incredibly, again, incredibly sexy. You right. Seventeen Figment. If you like your fragrances earthy and animalic, jump on this. You'll smell like no one else. Smells like the earth on a hot day. Just as giant raindrops hit the ground. Sex in a bottle right here. Very, very unique. You right. Coming in at number 16. Suavemente, besame. Que quiero sentir tus labios. Besame mucho. Bet you never heard of this sexy beauty. This is so skanky. Unabashedly bold. I can easily describe this. Sexual chocolate, again. Number 15. You right. Oud S. The Oud, I mean absolute Oud bomb. <sighs> Spicy and leathery, I mean, there are your ingredients right there for sex in a bottle. You right. 14. Tobacco Rose. The best rose tobacco combination ever. And it's not even close. I reviewed it. Go check it out if you want a more in-depth analysis. Incredible fragrance. Very powerful. You right. 13. Sikedelik. This is probably the strongest and dare I say sexiest from this entire house. Big giant patchouli bomb. 12. You right. Musk Ravageur. Its reign is king is over with everybody that raved about it back in the day when it first came out. But not with me. It is still amazing and I will never be without this sexy monster in my collection. Ever. It's that good. You right. 11, 1996, Inez and Venude. Reviewed it, go check it out. Again, basically, if you missed it, books and booze. Very unique, very sexy. Now we are cracking the top 10. You right. Next, 1888. What you're going to have here, spiced saffron and lightly sweet. Again, unique. One of the best from the house. Really, really sexy. You right. Number nine, Ardent. Another featured in my sexiest rose fragrances. Go check it out. Amazing. Yup, sexy as all hell. Now, I've heard that this has been reformulated and that the new formulation is absolutely abysmal where its potency is concerned, or in this case, lack thereof. I got this from an actual boutique owner who got a new supply in and he compared the two. 
what's going on, Alan. Yeah, very sad. But I'm glad I have the original, which I'm happy to say is an absolute monster. Moving on. You right. Number eight. <clears throat> this is Shams Oud. Now, if you want, listen closely to this, all right? If you want elegance as well as sexy, well, as Kenny Loggins once said back in the 80s. This is it. Oh my God, man. Now, you guys already know me. And if you know me, you know I couldn't give two shits in a bowl of goat tripe about occasions for fragrances. To me, there aren't any. They don't exist. Wear what you want, when you want, whatever. But for those of you that do, you will smell like a filthy rich oil tycoon hobnobbing with like the bougie one percenters in places like Dubai or Muscat. Um, you know, at some business dinner at a restaurant overlooking the Gulf of Oman. Very upscale. Very, very upscale. Absolutely incredible. Expensive, but incredible. And it is the eighth sexiest fragrance on terra firma. Number seven. You're right. Black Dragon. I mean, I could try to describe the sexiness of this fragrance, but it'd probably be an exercise in futility. Um, but it is sexy. Um, I think I'm going to review this. Um, slightly anomalic, sweet and boozy. Unbelievable scent. You're right. Moving down to number six, this is Absolute Peu Le Soir. One of the skankiest fragrances to ever hit the market, okay? If you look at the note breakdown, you'll see cumin. And a lot of people that are boots, you know, new jacks in, in the fragrance community, you know, would hightail it out of there. Meep, meep. Once they heard that, you know, that spicy note was in this fragrance, but don't be scared. This smells like the sweet nectar of bodily secretions from the fairer sex. I know it's a little risque. I know, I know. But the closer we get to number one, the more carnal and the more the natural act uh, these fragrances will evoke. Uh, so we'll just leave it at that. Oh, uh, and if you're planning on buying it, it's, it is discontinued. So forget it. If you are lucky enough to find it online, you're going to have to sell your first bond and mortgage your house to get it. But it is insanely good. You're right. The fifth sexiest fragrance in my collection, Instant Crush. Sweet mother of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. This is freaking good. I'm running out of adjectives, people. But if you want more, if you want a more detailed description, I reviewed it. Go check it out. Suffice it to say, unmistakable sexiness. That's for me and Sarah. So far. So far. You're right. Number four, Oud 27. Yup, even sexier. Smells like a grape tonic with enough sexy skank to fill the Congo River Basin. But it is so freaking good. You like your fragrances like, like hoary. Like ridiculously sexy. Jump on Oud 27. And now... You're right. The third sexiest fragrance in my collection, Musk Oud. Now we're getting crazy, baby. Now we're getting to the meat and potatoes of sexiness. This totally reminds you of sex. And it's so anomalic and so skanky, it almost defies description. Although, I did review it. But... There are still two fragrances that are even sexier than this high price monstrosity. And what's in the name? Skanky, spicy, leathery. Like sexy, hard bodied. This is like a sexy, hard bodied Harley chick clad in assless chaps in a leather jacket. Unfreaking believable. Uh, oh, yeah. Wicked, wicked powerful. You're right. Number two, Mayfair. Now, listen, if you like your fragrances so animalic that, I, 
I, I can't think. If you if you like your fragrances wicked animalic, then meet the most animalic fragrance in history. All right. Well, at least that I've ever sniffed, and I've sniffed a crazy ton of animalic fragrances since I bought this fragrance. No other animalic fragrance I've sniffed is more animalic. The power is completely off the charts. Only the beeswax slightly diffuses the animalic accord in this nuclear monster. Without the beeswax, forget about it. Now, people, we have moved to the sexiest fragrance ever. You right. Period. None more sexy than this. And this is fetish. The absolute number one sexist fragrance anywhere in our solar system. You literally have no idea about fragrance power. Don't kid yourself, guys. There is no match when it comes to sexy fragrances. Zero. And you're looking at numero uno. Packed with notes. Again, extremely powerful. Overspray this one and people start breathing. Consider yourself duly warned. But there is nothing sexier. Hope you guys like this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Comment all that good stuff. I'm going to try to pump out more content. I got a lot of stuff on the dock. Ready to go. You guys have a great day. I'll talk to you later.